Fremantle City Councillor and Socialist Alliance candidate for the federal seat of Fremantle, Sam Wainwright. Last Wednesday, I passed by a gathering outside a fundraiser for Julia Gillard at Victoria Hall in Fremantle, um, where one of the uh, chants initiated by the Single Parents Action Group was Pension Cuts No Way, Make the Mining Bosses Pay. And very apt, I think, in the context of this federal election, think of the fact that pushing the remaining single parents off the pension onto New Start is going to raise more for this federal government than their watered down mining tax will do. A central theme of our election campaign is a qualitative redistribution of wealth. And by that we don't just mean a stiffer mining tax than the one that was proposed, although we'd certainly support that with open arms. But we're proposing something more controversial, but for most I suppose. And that is we're proposing that we need in this country to, be, to bring the resource sector and banks and energy distribution and major energy supply into democratic public ownership. Yeah. That, that, sounds like radical, that sounds like a radical thing to say in 2013 Western Australia, but it's happening in other parts of the world, and it's worth reminding people that once upon a time there were Labor Party Prime Ministers that proposed nationalising of the banks. <laughs> it's, it, it's a sign of how much politics has shifted to the right in our country, that it's, it's perceived as, as such a radical thing to do. We don't just propose it out of some kind of nostalgic, um, you know, ideological nostalgia, but because we believe it is essential for the following three things. Firstly, we believe it is just not credible to propose that we as a society will be able to re reorganise our economy such that we will be able to bring down our carbon emissions sufficient to stop runaway global warming without extending public ownership into those strategic sectors of our economy. We just believe it cannot be done and a carbon pricing by itself was certainly not sufficient to do that, not by, not by a long shot. Secondly, we need it to, to achieve this fundamental redistribution of wealth that I'm talking about. It's interesting that when the Productivity Commission released their report on the, on the NDIS, they took it as given that an NDIS would have to be funded by cuts to other social services. And this is absurd. This is a, we are in a wealthy state in a wealthy country. The problem is not where all the things that we would like, more public transport, better welfare, and so on, education, and the, the response is, oh, where's the money going to come from? The question is not where's the money going to come from, the problem is where's the money going to? That's the question that doesn't get asked, and I've tried, I've tried to allude to that before. <laughs> we don't believe it's, it's, it's possible to, to have a meaningful democracy in this country without bringing those strategic, monopolised sectors of our economy under de into democratic public ownership. We have to break the political, cultural and economic hold of those absolutely monopolised sectors in our economy. They're not free enterprise, they're monopolised. Those monopolised sectors of, 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 of our economy are, are over our lives. That has to be broken in order, in order for us to, to, to move forward and we need to have that discussion with people. I'll, I'll wind up uh, on, on this point. I, I, just on the on the, the, the soft drink analogy. Uh, mine's sort of as corny as Coke and Pepsi, but what, what I say to people when, when explaining our campaign is that you can't fight Coke with Diet Coke. And that's been the problem with the Gillard government. <laughs> you, know, you can fight, you have to present something qualitatively different, and the Gillard, give, uh, while Abbott will be worse, the Gillard government, by retreating on so many things, by capitulating on so many things, actually justifies and validates the Tony Abbott agenda, and that's why we've got to say, that's why these kinds of campaigns are taken right up to Abbott. Thank you.